out to the goddess Kali. Goddess, goodbye. Despite the pain in the heart, farewell. Tears welling in my eyes, I must take leave of you. It is hard for a man to part from something near to the heart. Harder it is, he has to part from the heart itself. You, goddess, are my heart, my first love. Never mind, goodbye. I have had enough. I have wasted my youth. Loving you, adoring you, believing in you, slaving for you, suffering in your name. You came to possess a youth not yet twenty, made a chief slave of him, and reign his heart, his brain, his whole being. I love you more than my mother, more than my first girl, more than my country. I worshipped you and offered every drop of my blood at your altar. I washed your feet with the dew of my brow. I improvised poem in praise of your virgin locks. For oh, I thought you alone are the light, the savior, the avalokit deswara. Om mani padme hum, O jewel in the lotus. I believed it was you who let the rain fall, the flowers bloom, the cross come bounteous, birds and bees and men sing in harmony. Love and peace prevail in the world. I was certain you end war and bring forth peace. Do away with all kinds of injustice. You blot out slavery from the surface of the earth. I have no doubt you are the sole refuge of the worst orphans. You are the only hope of the worst starved. You are the ultimate savior of the world's chained masses. You are the one to restore honor to the world's halls. Alas, it was all delusion. Goddess, you are but an embodiment of illusion, deception, trickery, wise treachery. Look, what have all you have? Reeked in land that's why I watched you. In the East Country, cattle die by the millions as pastures are no longer green. In the North Country, the mixed starved infant turned hostile to its own mother. In the South Country, a ten-year-old girl is ready to treat her undeveloped body. Or a handful of rice grains. Wherever you are worshipped, only settlements of slaves and serfs grow. Only cold, dark dungeons increase. Only orphans, beggars, pickpockets, prostitutes multiply. Prophet of Brandy, you bring starvation. To the multitudes, having a raw happiness, you turn their masses into the lowest of slaves history has known. Preacher of harmony, you send brother against brother, son against father, pupil against teacher. Champion of liberty, you only shut the people's eyes. Stop their ears, kick their mouths, stifle their songs, bury their hopes. Kali, you are the goddess of darkness. Turn them on light, and the thesis of common sense, enemy of creativity, rapist of liberty, murderer of justice. Cancer of 
all human values. In land where you have your street, where is there a happy soul? Where a welfare child? Where a free man? Except for a handful of votaries, those eunuchs and male prostitutes, those butchers, those misanthropes, those incarnations of greed, lust, and hate. Who, in land where the masses starve, live in palaces, enjoying so much use, have pot bellies, ripped teenage girls, clothed over heaps of gold and jewels. Who, specialize in inventing all manner of lies, blinding people, enslaving them, sucking every ounce of blood from their frail bodies, who, sportsmen as they are, amuse themselves testing their archer skill at running boys, dissecting live human bodies, reviving the ageless cannibalism. To these countrily henchmen of yours, you have brought training or depravity to the world. You and your henchmen have not only made a whistling on the earth, but far worse than the material deterioration, you have given rise to a spiritual degeneration in the hearts of men. Theirs are now hearts of darkness, hearts of rogues and cutthroats, hearts that refuse to be redeemed. Enough of your butcher liar gangsters, enough of your deceptions. Away with you and your gang, down with your false doctrine. Goddess, goodbye. I take leave of you, as Prince Vijaya did of the Ogress Kubana. Although it pains my heart to part from my first love, goodbye. Despite the hot tears, the heart that breathes, farewell.